All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Here he is, for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, Magomed and Goliath. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. South Boston this year. Conor McGregor would be the king of the St. Paddy's Day Parade. Oh, yeah. And the Irish environment that he goes to. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Green beer is flowing in this arena. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And he counters with a left hand. Lands a big right hand early. That one landed clean. Oh. That right hand hurt him. 
a little bit. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Super Bowl. Let those hands go. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left! Choi's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. We cross the midpoint in round one. Strong kick to the outside of that loop leg form there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with this kick. He somehow has managed it to land it with so much force. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Joy gets hit with a kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Left hand points to the clinch. Got clip with the right hand. Misses again with a right punch. Big leg kick land. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down now. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, nice high kick. He blocks the punch. One, two punch by Shore. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, single collar tie now. Choi's shot is blocked. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Beautiful strike. Still there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom's out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Right punches there. Real quick leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. 
Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Right there by Chor. Head kick. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Circling towards the left now. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice leg kick there by Shore. Oh, big elbow. Wow. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Splits the guard lands the right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. In it. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the ground and pound strike. One minute to go in the round. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Blocks the shot. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at the whip action that comes from that kid. Another takedown land. Close guard. Oh, that's a good right hand. 20 seconds left. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Joy gets back up again. Great punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh. Now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands 
on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Whiffs on that offering. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice punch here. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Short. Able to check the high kick. Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, he closes the front of the clinch now. Ooh, nice trip to get the takedown. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just out of range with that right hook. How good is that right hand? Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, you heard him. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Separate. Nice body to run right under the elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lands flush with that right hand. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying. The inside is right now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Nice loop and punch. Nice right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And lands the left there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. That was a nice strike. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in the single. Oh, oh tie. dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out.
20 seconds now remain in the round. So that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that really closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here, and for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And they separate. One. So nicely done with the trip there. Ooh. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Slips the left hand. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands on the top. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice. And there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, Grab a wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now let me Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just over two minutes to go. Battling for hooks. Oh, man. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Close guard. Trying to recover full guard there. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Good, solid strike on the ground. Up, 
Under one minute remains in round four of a possible five. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. Choi's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, he's got his back now. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Nice punch, Lane. <laughs> Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. This the one that's gonna break you. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And he landed the right hand there. Solid strike on the ground. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, the ground and pound is there. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Not tapping out tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Yeah. Oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. 
Oh, big one oh. land. to get back up again, and he's there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his equipment hurt very bad. Ooh, blocks the shot. Troy's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, you gotta get out of there. He might get a finish here. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by Potentially attempting a Von Flu? Wow. And there it is! He got him! What a performance! And to get the submission that late in the fight is most impressive because you're dealing with sweat and blood and fatigue and a lot of different elements that play out over a 15 or 25 minute fight, but his technique didn't suffer, right? A lot of fighters, when they get fatigued, maybe the technique suffers a little bit. Not the case with this fighter here tonight. Locked it in and forced his opponent out of the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, the Korean. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.